Hi folks, Gypsy Jack Van Vreen from Guitar Showcase in San Jose, California. It's been a while since I've been in front of a camera, so I'm a little bit shaky, but uh, we have a special occasion here, uh, and I chose that intro lick because it's from the tubes. She's a beauty, and I may be biased, but yes, she is. This is my delicious one. Uh, and what's different about this occasion, I've talked to you about gear over the years, lots of times. This one's mine. You can't, well, you might be able to talk me out of it, but you'd have to buy me something even nicer. And we have plenty that you're going to want yourself. This is a Paul Reed Smith. It's a relatively new model for, for the Paul Reed Smith company. It's the P22. And you're going, P22, what's that all about? Well, it's based on their custom 22. They came up with some uh, newer style pickups. Actually, they came up with some new old style pickups. These are called 5807s. They're based on Ted McCarty's work with the original humbuckers from the 50s. Yeah, that'll ring some bells. And they took this beautiful guitar and they worked with LR bags to come up with a piezo bridge that actually sounds like a piezo, like a, an acoustic guitar, mostly. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say, yeah, I'll take this instead of my Martin if I'm doing a solo gig. But if I'm in the middle of a rockin' tune, and I want to do a real nice, sweet bridge, Okay, so you don't have vibrato on acoustic guitar, but you get the idea. One guitar, and I haven't messed with the amplifier at all. It happens to be a Paul Reed Smith uh, CAD 50. We'll talk about it another time. I'm still in the gain channel. But by backing off, kicking in the piezo, I can add a real strong acoustic flavor to my band without having to stop the bit song and switching guitars or buy an extra hardware to mount a guitar on the stand and all that stuff. So that's very cool. Um, it's a 25 inch scale, so it's a little bit smaller than my beloved Strat, a little bit longer than my beloved Les Paul, kind of uh, like Goldilocks. This one's just right. 22 frets. So all I need, uh, there's a Nashville tourism. There's only, there's no money above the fifth fret. That's maybe why I'm so poor, because I play up here a lot. Locking tuners, uh, the Paul Reed Smith designed stay in tune trim. Works great. You can do the uh, dive bomb thing. But it still comes back in tune. Thank you. Um, switch here, kicks it from piezo to a blend, which I use a lot to just strictly an electric guitar. We have a blend here that blends how much piezo or how much electric guitar when I'm in mono mode. It has a dual mode. Let me see if I can get a shot here. Two jacks. When I use both jacks, the second jack is pure piezo. And this becomes the volume for just the piezo. This is just the volume for the electric, so you can blend that way. The switch will cut off either. So if I don't want any electric, I kick it up. If I don't want any acoustic, I put it all the way down. So I have that control there. Now, something else that, that Paul came up with, Paul and his, his gang, the original Paul Reed Smith Customs had a six position knob and it had lots of cool sounds on it, but it was a pain to kind of do this. So what they did is they went to a five way blade, like a Stratocaster, all the way up you have your humbucking neck position, which is really kind of sweet. In the middle you have your uh, double humbucker. And all the way down you've got your, your good old-fashioned bridge pickup. So you've got that. In the number two position, which we love on our strats, you get an interesting combination. Not quite strat tone, but it's very stratish. Which is really useful because I only want to carry one guitar if I'm only making 30 bucks down at the bar. And then this position here, number four, I call it, is double single coil. So if you want to do a little bit of R&B, chicka chicka. You got that here. So what we have 
as a guitar that covers this broad palette of tonality. You can blend in the piezo to get some acoustic stuff. You can uh, get, with just a flick of your, your wrist, get a really clean tone. I still haven't played with channel switching on the amplifier. We're still in the overdrive channel, but we've got this nice clean thing. I can even go to the neck pickup, back off the gain, back off the top end. And do some reasonable jazz stuff, stuff and play with the amp. So, extremely versatile piece. Uh, call my delicious one because she's so deliciously pretty. This is a standard top. This one's curly maple. It's available in a flame as well. If you want to bump it up a, a bit, you can see over my shoulder, we have some of the 10 tops where the flame gets pretty intense. I'm going to reach around here. I'm not supposed to look off from the camera, but right up here, this is Paul's guitar. And as you might imagine, a guitar named after the president, he goes out of his way. We have an amazing artist grade curly maple or quilted maple. I'm curly's old school. I'm sorry, I'm old. So you have a lot of choices. Um, you can get a guitar just like you want it. This guitar, de facto order it, comes with the uh, pattern neck. They call it a pattern regular. They offer a pattern thin and a pattern. Uh, they call it thick, depends on which model it is. And basically what the differences are, pattern thick is like an early 50s Les Paul, pattern regular is like a 59 where they started to slim down, and pattern thin's really a lot like a 60s, or might even you say Jamie Page where he took a 60 neck and sh shaved it real thin. Not quite there, but they have three different styles. We usually have one of each kicking around the showroom so you can come in and get your hands on it and see which one feels better for you. For years, I always liked the idea of a pattern thin, but I really gravitate to that 59 feel, uh, which is what my Les Paul is, and it just feels right. This is a guitar that plays itself, uh, so that's kind of cool. You really need to come down and check one out. If you don't need the piezo, as I said, they make a custom 22 without, or a custom 24 if you need a couple more frets. And then they have a couple of other things like Paul's guitar, which has some interesting electronics in it. And then if you just want a traditional thing down at the end there, it's kind of off the camera, we've got the SC245, which you will recognize in a heartbeat. And I think that's about all I wanted to talk about. Let me think for a minute. No, I, I think that's it. So thank you very much for dropping by, pay attention, come in. I usually have my beauty with me if you want to play the actual guitar from this video, but if not, we have usually between 10 and 20 of these luscious creatures for you to enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you.